what's up majestic squad what it do i am in charlotte y'all i'm on my way to a uh a job interview because your girl got a job interview i got two of them actually today so i'm gonna be walking around here walking around the city and i'm gonna just vlog different stuff but yeah y'all like my outfit do i look cute All right, y'all, I'm going to go get on the train and then I'll be back. What's up, y'all? How's it going? Um, I am taking a beautiful stroll with my boo. Um, Majestic Squad, I don't know. I've just been having a real chill day. I'm trying to remember to... Um, Pull my phone out and record because even though I don't be doing shit and it don't be interesting to me, I think that it really might be interesting for y'all. So, um, I don't know. Um, for people who've never seen uh, Charlotte, I guess I could show y'all like different, I don't know, different areas and what well, a small amount of areas that I have seen. But yeah, we're gonna walk through here. Um, I think we're gonna go to the Epic Center. So I'm gonna block the Epic Center, the Epic Center for y'all, and show y'all some of the restaurants down there and stores that they have. Um, I've never seen a bus station like this before, so I think it's interesting. Y'all just hit me up. Let me know. Hold on, y'all. My hair. Oh, and have y'all watched Netflix? Yes, y'all, get on Netflix and watch A Fall From Grace. If you have not watched that Tyler Perry movie, A Fall From Grace, on Netflix, watch that shit. It is so crazy. Like, your own friend will stab you in the back. But, yeah, it was crazy, y'all. So, go watch A Fall From Grace, definitely. Y'all need to watch that shit. It was so crazy. For the people who have seen it, I did not expect that lady to have all them old women in her freaking basement, y'all. Like, I did not expect her to have all the old ladies in her basement. And I did not. I I knew that the, once I seen the shit come together, I knew that the dude had to be her son. I'm like, that got to be her son. Like, she pimped her son out to old women and took all their money. I'm talking put their houses up for mortgage, kidnapped them, collecting social security checks. Like, y'all, it's really, really crazy. Y'all should definitely go watch that Tyler Perry movie. For the y'all who um, hate to spoil it, I'm sorry I spoiled it for the people who haven't watched it. For the people who have, baby, it's going crazy. Um, oh, yeah, and dance vlogs. I'm still working on the dance vlogs, y'all. Like, because right now I'm trying to find me a, a consistent job. And I don't have a car right now either, so it's hard for me to really get around. I mean, they have trains and buses and stuff. But ain't nobody trying to travel with no big-ass bag or no train and no bus. You feel me? Especially because the shit I be having on. I mean, I might try it and just downsize my bag um, and see what I can come up with. But I'm still working on it, y'all. Trust and believe me, y'all. I will be coming with strip of loss. Like, they just won't be coming as much as y'all want them to because I still have other shit going on. So I, that's why I said I want to vlog the other stuff I have going on to make it more interesting for y'all so y'all don't feel like, like I'm just not doing nothing for you. All right, y'all. I'll be showing y'all the Epic Center, I think, in just a second. All right, y'all. So I'm in the Epic Center, and I'm standing in front of Smoothie King. They have a Smoothie King up here. They got Moe's. Here's the phone store. It looked like an outdoor mall. Like, y'all know how in Burlington they had, like, the Burlington, not, what was it, Burlington Outlet or something like that? They got Jason's Deli right here. Jason's Deli is pretty good, y'all. As y'all know, I love to eat, like, I need to do some mukbangs for y'all for real because y'all know I love to eat. So I can tell y'all what stuff tastes like, I guess. Give you my honest opinion. What's up, babe? This is pretty cool, though. It just really looked like a big ass. It's like a bus station, a train station, and a mini mall. It got restaurants and stuff in it. Like a mini yeah and then it has like that for the most part is just like restaurants there's no clothing stores i haven't seen any so far but it just seems like restaurants like a lot of different food places in here but it's cold as hell y'all 
standing in the breeze is cold as fuck. And then look, this is street. It ain't that big, but I don't know. It's decent size. It just reminds me of like a, a food mall, like a, a mall for food. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Um, today is, let me look, Thursday, January 30th. Uh, tonight, I'm trying to figure out how to, I got to figure out the bus system and stuff in Charlotte, y'all. So, I want to really, um, I think Onyx does a Thursday night audition but well I don't think they have audition I'm not sure how it works I gotta ask more questions I really need to make sure I got the tip out which today I don't y'all I'm so broke I came down here broke like the money I had I spent on the room or whatever and after that your girl has been broke so you know, like I said, I want to do the stripper vlogs and stuff for y'all. And it's nothing to get in the club, but you got to have a house fee. You got to be able to pay your way in. You feel me? So, that's my thing. But I did, like I said, y'all got a job the other day on that last vlog. I need to uh, put it all together. Um, every vlog I do is going to be a course over the course of the entire week. I feel like that's easier to do when I can just make a video every day of the week and then like every i don't know friday or sunday post it on youtube because i know i missed like three weeks last time because i didn't know like which i might have found interesting but i don't be doing shit so i guess i'm gonna just record me not doing nothing but i just woke up i took a shower baby got my shower ready for me so then after I got out, I got his shower ready, so we're going to see what's going on today. We're probably going to chill all day. If you know me, y'all know I'm ready to roll up. Fuck all the extras. Yeah, I got I got to do that every morning. Yeah, look at my bra. <laughs> look at my TikTok. It looks crazy. Oh, if y'all don't know, this is my favorite skirt. Because I can wear it as a dress in the house. And then if I got to go to the store, I pull it down and put a shirt on. So cool. <laughs> but yeah, let me get back to y'all a little bit. Let me go enjoy my morning festivities. All right, y'all. And y'all know the motto. If you're going to fuck with me, fuck with me. If not, fade away. I need to put that shit in my description box. Like, every time I post, I need to put that shit in the bottom of my description box. Some people on YouTube got the biggest description boxes. And I guess because I'm still fresh. I don't know what to put in my description box, y'all. So, please give me an idea. I'm not on Instagram. And I have those accounts, but I'm not on social media, really. So, it's like, I don't want to have y'all adding me on these social media accounts. And I'm not on them. And I'm not posting on them because I don't. Like, even in my relationship. Like, he, he caught me at a time where I'm not even on social media. <laughs> But I mean, it's, it's, I don't know, it's easier not to be on social media for me right now. But when I get back on there, y'all better know I'm cutting up. Period. Y'all better know I'm cutting up. It's gonna be a while though. I ain't really pressed on it. I don't miss it that much. Like, since I stopped social media, I really don't miss it. I really don't. I can honestly say that it's been three months, and I can honestly say, like, I really do not miss that shit. Um, too much drama, too much going on. You know, I never was in drama, but I fed into all the bullshit. I was on that motherfucker looking at everything. I knew what was going on with everything. <laughs> now, I don't know what's going on with anything, and that feeling right there is so peaceful. When you don't know everything everybody got going on there. Listen to other people opinions and when you're going through something embarrassing yourself on social media that's why i stopped because i started embarrassing myself on social media because i would like tell me and my baby daddy business not necessarily tell our business because nobody never knew that we had certain stuff going on but basically like us arguing like me posting and him not responding so it just made me look crazy um so i just got off of social media and I guess whenever I decide to get back on social media, I don't know. I don't 
I just want to stick to YouTube right now. I might add my social media, y'all. And for the girl with the comments, I was not mad. I'm just saying, don't go to no strip club with your man if you don't want him getting danced on. Don't go to the strip club with your man if you don't want money being thrown. Don't go to the strip club with your man if you know you're going to be jealous of all the ass walking around in there. Because don't like, and that's another thing. If, if you know your man like to go to the strip club and you hate that shit, find you a nigga that don't like the strip club. Find a nigga that don't like the strip club. Find a nigga that you ain't got to worry about going to the strip club throwing throwing all y'all rent money. You know, it's just, that's those type of thought process. I wasn't being negative when I said that, though. So, I don't want you to be offended. I was just saying, like, that shit do happen because females come in cop blocking. Y'all bitches cop block. Like, y'all be fucking up the rent. <laughs> and we fight about that. <laughs> Let me get off here, y'all, because I'm running out of time. I love y'all. Peace. Oh, I had to clear up some space. Can y'all see me? A little bit. Well, anyway, so I'm on the way to a job interview, y'all. Which is like, I'm super crazy lit for because it's a job. Like, I don't know. who Anybody get excited about a consistent check? Like, it's one thing to make fun money, but it's another thing to get a consistent check. So, very lit about that. Um, I try to be cute, but it's cold. So, this is it. Do y'all like my earmuffs? I got these at a um, I got these at a hood store <laughs> in Greensboro. But yeah, y'all like my earmuffs? I think they're cute. But yes, yeah, so I'm on the way to this job and if y'all hope I get this job, I'm really crazy, super crazy lit because I really want this job. It's good to have, especially when you move into a new. Um, city to a place that I'm very unfamiliar in, so it is exciting to be able to nab a job so fast or have an interview for jobs so fast. But yeah, so um, that's what I'm doing, that's what um, I'm on my way to. And when I leave there, I'll let y'all know what's going on. I'll let y'all know if I get to come back the next day for the second interview, the final interview, which I think she already made up in her mind for me to come back for the final interviews, but I'll let y'all know after this.